Hey, welcome to my bathroom. Today, we're gonna be trying something really special. I got this hair paint wax that I'm really excited to use. Um, I've always wanted to color my hair, but never really been able to. I don't wanna dye it because I don't wanna damage it. Um, and honestly, investing in like a wig or anything like that is really expensive and I don't know how to install it or take care of it or anything like that. So I'm like, well, let me try this. So I've seen a lot of videos on this stuff and I'm kind of skeptical. I hope it works, but I'm not sure it's going to because it's best used in curly or textured hair and I have very, very fine hair. Um, and so I don't use any product in my hair at all. Not when I blow dry it. I mean, I don't use any leave-in conditioner or anything like that. I just do a regular shampoo and conditioner and that's all I need. Um, so I don't apply any kind of styling product or heat product. Um, I really don't use leave-in conditioner. The most I go between washes is probably about three days because my hair tends to get really greasy at the root, which weighs me down since my hair is so fine. Um, and so I know that this is gonna be really heavy on my hair, so I'm hoping that it works. Um, I'm gonna use a technique that I haven't seen anyone do yet, and I've been through like tons of videos and haven't really seen any videos that helped me. Um, I haven't seen any videos. I've seen maybe one or two, three, we'll say three. I've seen three videos of girls with like fine hair like myself. <laughs> so not much help on the internet. So today I'm going to try this out and we're going to see how it works. So the instructions say to use a small amount of hair color wax. And see that's why I know that it's going to um, really weigh down my hair because the Second and third ingredient are both waxes. Use a small amount of hair color wax and apply to damp hair. Apply to hair starting from the bottom up by using your fingertips. Once you have applied, set the hair and allow it to dry. Okay, so hair's still wet, obviously. So, in a lot of the videos I saw, there were some guys I saw do their hair. They put this stuff in dry. I'm not going to do that. Um, then I seen some other videos and they didn't really section off their hair, but I am going to section off my hair just to make sure we get it real thorough and it's not clumped up, weighing my hair down and all that good stuff. See, my hair's really long. I'm growing it out too. You know, I got it cut because they say when you get it trimmed that it's supposed to grow more, right? It's supposed to stimulate growth. Bitch, I cut my hair like probably an inch and it ain't grown in. It's still short as hell. Okay, so I want to go ahead and try the front piece first. And then what I'm gonna do is, so I'm gonna work it in like I said from the bottom up because I'm not gonna apply a lot to the root because I know that's where my hair gets greasy and oily and gets weighed down. So we're gonna try it this way. But I'm also gonna take this comb and we're gonna comb through it to make sure that it's not, doesn't have a lot of buildup um, or anything like that. Okay. It's fresh. First impressions. <gasps> On camera, really? Thanks. Okay. Oh, there we go. So this is supposed to be um washable. So I'm not gonna worry about putting on gloves or anything like that. Because it shouldn't stain my hands, right? And keep this right here. So I have something to wipe my hands off on. Hey. 
I mean, this smells really good. Like, a lot of the stuff I saw, people were using, like, that Mofajang, Mofajang, I don't even know how you say it, whatever. Um, and they said that it had, like, a really bad men's cologne smell, which to me, that means chemical smell. I'm a makeup connoisseur, you know, I know that there are fake products coming from China and stuff like that, and they always have that chemical smell. This smells really good, almost like shea butter. Okay, so... I'm gonna take a little bit. See how that works. Oh, it's green, girl. Oh, it's green, bitch. Okay. Let's move on to another section. so good. I don't know if I'm seeing a lot of the color tint that some other people see, <clears throat> but we'll see. I'm optimistic. You know, I think I'm just going to do this whole section of hair. It doesn't seem to be clumping up like, again, some of the other like off-brand stuff that people were using. So, I think I'm just going to in there. Okay, I have seen a lot of people doing the praying hands method. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take my comb. I don't seem to be getting a lot of transfer on me though, so that's good. Okay, actually, I think I'm gonna bring out the mist bottle because my hair is running. Okay. Okay. Okay, I think we just gonna. 
don't do it like that then. to dry before I can tell because uh, I'm just a little, a little worried about it actually drying. slanted part so it starts on the side but then comes to the middle that way you know my hair's even okay so I haven't used too much product on the bottom of my hair got hair everywhere though Jesus okay so haven't used too much product it's coming around the top okay and again Oh, that is not the the bottom to the top, is it? No, it's not. Okay, we're gonna apply some more. Looks like you only need to apply it to the top of your hands for real, because when I'm when I'm getting finished with sections of my hair, this part here, there's like none gone. So I don't think we need to use a lot um, really on the bottom of your hands. Just try to keep it on the top of your hands. It's looking 
the grief. But like the Joker, baby. Like the Joker. Okay, gosh, so much. Uh, can you see this? Can you see this? Alright, we're gonna go in with our comb. I really feel like the comb helps uh, distribute it and keep it even. Oh my god, I'm singing it again. Make it stop! And now I'm kind of purposely like tipping the brush this way so I can get a little closer to the root, but like not too much. Looking good. I'm just, again, we'll see how it dries. And you know, that's another thing that I haven't seen anybody disclose in their videos. Like, are you guys air drying it? Are you drying it on high? Like, what are you drying it on? <laughs> oh, eat your heart out. I am loving this so far. So I'm hoping that it works. Okay. So, let's do the back, as I know how bitching been done. Bitching needs to be done in the back too. So, it looks like I am getting a little transfer there. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm kind of just um, playing with my hair like I normally would, as if there was nothing in it. So that way I can kind of just, you know, have it fall. And then, I don't know, um, hold on, get this hair off. I don't know if you can tell. Look at all that hair. But this does have like a, a glittery tint to it. 
so I don't know if it's gonna look glittery in the hair or not. Okay, we were doing the back, weren't we? Look, I'm getting off track. Doing the back. Because, you know, you can't just have green sides. All your hair needs to be green. Well, I guess you can do it however you want. I'm losing so much hair, like, this cannot be good. Okay, let's brush this bitch and then we're gonna get her dry. is for you no matter how bad you want to color your hair sorry so I'm sorry Okay, you know what I'm thinking I should do?
One eternity later. So I think we're gonna conclude this video so I can wash the shit out of my hair because this is not working. This is not working. It's really, really stiff on my hair, really heavy on my hair. It's it's like a pomade. That, that's what it is. So my hair don't need no pomade. My hair just wanted some color. So here's what the ring light. Here's without the ring light. Mm. This side looks more green to me. But if you ask me, you don't really look green at all. Definitely don't look like that. And that's from uh, blow drying. Oh, I'm sad. But I guess it doesn't work. So, this was a big epic fail flop. So, fresh out of the bathtub, everything came out fine, uh, even though I had a Baja Blast bath by the time I was done. So, final thoughts, it's a nice product, it goes on really nice, really smooth, smells really good, but I don't think it's for us fine hair folk, unfortunately. So if you have any products that you recommend that will dye my hair, but not permanently, but not like, I don't want a semi-permanent dye either. I don't want something that I have to wait months to come out. So, anything you recommend, let me know. See you later. That didn't take very long. Just wanted to pop back in and say I was cleaning up everything and it literally got all over everything. The hairbrush, the light, the mirror, the hair dryer, like everything. My bra, everywhere. And then when I was trying to clean out my brush, it started flaking. Girl.